This is the last question in our game, ghost or weirdo. Okay, I got, fuck me. No, God, I got it. But did you say God fuck you? No, no, I said let's do this. W-Z-R-D, it sounds so much more professional when you say the acronym, but it just means wizard. Ah! Ah! Oh my God! Ah! Oh. Oh. All right, all right, all right. Ah. Sorry, I gotta get faster on a chill out spell. Yeah, Danny, yeah. help me out. Uh, Chalissimo, Altissimo. Oh, God, it kind of works, but keep going. Do you like tuna? Ah. So we're all good now, right? Yeah. Oh, you're Brandon Rogers. Yes, oh yes, I, I well, am. Um, welcome to WZRD. You're on La Crescenta's number one wizarding show. Oh, also, if you see any ghosts running around here, that's normal this this week. That's weird. I'd like to go home, please. Oh, okay. Yeah, I was brought against my will. I was in my bathroom doing something, and then I'm here. Thank God I was fully clothed because I had no choice in the matter. Oh, monster! Where? Oh, <laughs> no, that's Ronnie. He's a student here. <laughs> to be fair, he is a little weird. <laughs> The goblin. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Mike, did you have any questions for our guests? You know, I did, but now I got a better idea. Let's play a game called Ghosts or Just Weirdos. <laughs> In this game, we'll tell you about an incident where a non-magical person reported a haunting. Then you'll guess whether the haunting was the work of an honest-to-goodness ghost or, or just a weirdo. Yeah. Whatever gets us out of here quickest. All right, you're ready to play then. In June of 2014, a family was welcomed to their new home with letters from The Watcher. These anonymous notes included highlights such as, it has been years and years since the young blood ruled the hallways. Will the young blood play in the basement? You would never hear them scream, ghost or weirdo. Oh, oh God, well, it's up to me to decide this. Well, I, I think it's obviously a weirdo. That spook sounds more like it. Based off of its lyrics, I'd have to say not only is it a weirdo, it's probably Kanye or someone of the sort. The answer is just a weirdo. Oh, no yeah, explanation. Right. You're correct. <laughs> that guy is just a freak. I, I'm so sorry. I have no idea where we are. What, what is this again? Some kind of a cult? Oh, this is La Crescenta. Oh. Brandon, have you ever had a pen pal? Uh, you know, uh, I I come from the age of AIM, AOL Instant Messenger. I guess that counts. It yeah. does, it does, and that's the closest thing to a pen pal. I've, I've actually, uh, you know, our generation, I don't think, I've never touched a pen in my life. Same. Right. Yeah. Oh, I think I have one right here. <laughs> Let me just, ugh. A pen? Whoa. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> got a little worried there. <laughs> it kept it in a secret place. Okay, Brandon, are you ready? Remember, ghost or weirdo. I'm gonna Ooh. try to remember that. Built in 1829, <sighs> Eastern State Penitentiary was dedicated to solitary confinement. Now, visitors consistently hear disembodied laughter and pacing footsteps, as well as see prisoners' shadows lurk across the walls. I knew it. Ghost or weirdo? Oh God, you know, I have to say, I have to say this one is, it's gotta be a ghost. It's gotta be a ghost, I don't like it. You're right again, oh there were God. ghosts. Apparently the afterlife is pretty boring, so there's not much to do except, you know, haunt. <laughs> I've been known to talk about ghosts. Yeah, I've been ghosted a ton. Please don't kill me. I think a magical death, albeit sounds great, uh, I think a magical death would be the worst way to die, so I, I better be on good terms with the people here. What was the question? <laughs> so Brandon, <laughs> What's the funniest thing you've ever seen in solitary confinement? <laughs> well, if they put a mirror in myself. <laughs> I, yeah, uh, you know, I, I, I like to think I'm, I'm pretty funny. And, uh, and, and when in solitary confinement, I just keep myself uh, uh, occupied. Except, you know, I actually uh, would, would like to be alone right now. That is adorable. I'm gonna read you off another scenario here. All right, but make it quick because I'm getting a little scared. Okay. It's called Hotel Monte Vista in oh. Flagstaff, Arizona. This spooky. hotel comes complete with a phantom bellboy, a crying baby, and boarder who used to hang meat from the chandeliers. Of course. Two prostitutes were once thrown to their death there, and male guests now often wake to the sensation of cold hands being wrapped around their throats. So which is it, ghosts or weirdos? Oh God, I think, I think I'm gonna have to go with weirdos for this one because if I was a ghost and I had a choice of where I'd like to haunt, that hotel sounds like a shit show. You are exactly right, Agan. Wow. Yeah. So, just weirdos because nobody stays in Flagstaff, Arizona longer than they need True. to, including ghosts. Mm -hmm. You're three for three, Brandon. You know, this show's a lot funner than I thought. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna take that as a compliment. Yes. Um, wait. I think I have another. <laughs> Keep it in an extra secret place this oh, time. Oh, deeper. Um, so, Brandon, if you could haunt any Super 8 motel in the US, what would it be? Oh my gosh. 
I think I'd have to go to Vegas because you know the people staying there will not be a boring time. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. What happens in Let's not, like, Vegas? Don't make it a sexual thing. That's number one. I'm sorry. I'm inclined to. Yeah, you know, the people gambling and they're losing their minds. Vegas is a place where mentally unstable people check in, and I'd, I'd like to haunt that. But uh, this hypothetical situation is pointless because I'm never going to die. Oh, well, that's fortunate. For me. It is. Yeah. Well. And that way, I just, you don't have to bond with anyone. You just, they're going to be dead eventually. Brandon, I have another round of Ghost or Weirdo. Well, we have to get through it. Okay. This is... Turnbull Canyon. Group of occultists were rumored to have stolen children from the local orphanage and offered them as human sacrifices in this hip hiking area. The entire canyon is thought to be cursed and the site of several unsolved murders. Oh God. Ghost or weirdo? Oh God, it has to be multiple weirdos. Multiple weirdos. And here's the thing, what is it called? Turn balls. Testicle Turn. canyon. This canyon does not sound like the neighborhood to accidentally wind up into. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Not your neighborhood canyon. Not your neighborhood canyon to be. These are, these are weirdos, uh, clean and simple, and I rest my case. And I'm You're right. very wrong. These are actually ghosts. Shit. The rent Fuck. up no, there has gone just... way up, and they're just trying to protect their community, gentrifier. I just wanted to do a good job staying at home today. I understand. And here I am doing a bad job in front of you people. You're doing great. I lost. You were screaming earlier, so. I am you know, improving. Progress. Mm -hmm. So Brandon, do you want kids? I never want or wanted or will want kids. They want me, and it's a horrible world I live in. How do you deal with that? I don't know. I don't know. I, I can't, well, I mean, the, the worst company when you're trying to get over a hangover. Mm -hmm. um, you thought a TV could occupy them these days. No, they need tablets and things, and I That's just true. don't. I don't have tablets. Because then they're trying to swipe the TV, and that doesn't work. No, it doesn't. Now I got greasy ass prints all over my Toshiba. Did you know magic is real? Yes, this moment, this exact moment, I decided that magic is very real, and uh, I hope to God I'm just tripping on something horrible, but uh, I think that this is reality, so I guess magic must be not an illusion. If it wasn't real, what, what would you attribute to what's happening right now? You know, there's a really bad Chinese place about a block mm -hmm. from me, mm -hmm. and I did eat there less than 24 hours ago, Heavens. and I think it's hitting me hard. I hope to God you guys are figments of my imagination. I've checked out your YouTube. You seem to talk in a lot of different voices. I do. Yes, this, I have been known, yeah. Have you ever considered the possibility that you were possessed by multiple hostile spirits? Not only have I considered the possibility, that's the case. Mm. Oh, okay. Well, lucky us. Oh, can I see one? Uh, okay, um, let me see. Okay, let me, let me summon him. This is Charlie Chaplin, but he doesn't talk. Oh, oh okay. okay. Mm -hmm. Can you answer questions in interpretive dance, then? I will try. Okay. But you're speaking, so I don't know if... if I will... Oh, okay. Thank you, Mr. Chaplin. You know, I used to think I've seen it all. I used to think I know... I used to think I know magic. I used to think I know uh, whimsy and, and colorful worlds. But no, my characters don't hold dick to the world that I've been in here this last hour. This is the last question in our game, Ghost or weird. Okay, I got, fuck me. No, God, I got it. But Did you say God fuck you? No, no, I said let's do this. Winchester Mystery House. The window of a rifle company's treasurer built this massive and treacherous home, oh, complete with staircases and doors leading to nowhere. In an effort to escape ghosts that had been killed by Winchester rifles, were they ghosts or just weirdos? Yeah, ghost or weirdo. You have to choose. Ghost or weirdo. Right now. G or W. That's oh. very important. Do okay. it. All right, okay, we weirdo, final answer. Actually, it was a trick question. Mrs. Winchester was, I think, by all accounts, insane. But her home did turn into a popular tourist attraction. It's kind of like a haunted Grand Canyon. Yeah. Oh. Apparently, they even sell commemorative snow globes in the handmade gift shop. Oh, oh that reminds me. We should show Brandon our orb. Oh, yeah, I don't know if that's a good idea. Hey, Carla, can you fly in the magical orb? Let's get that in here. Uh, just a reminder, without magical abilities, I cannot, unfortunately, fly, but I would be more than happy to walk the old feats over to the orb containment chamber for you. Okay, cool. All right, let's get it in here. I think it's fine. This might take a while. Maybe we should just forget it. No, no, no. He'll love it. And while we wait this out, here's a word from one of our sponsors. Join the student D&D &D club. I have to say, this is a pleasant surprise. I, I don't like magic when it's brought to me against my will. Uh, but, you know, once I, once I started seeing the products that they were endorsing and hearing about the spooky ghost stories, I just, I'm on board for the fun. It's a great time. <laughs> that, that, that's a game I can relate to. It's normal. You guys got great games in this magic land. Uh, guys, um, how do I put this? The orb is... Beautiful. Haunted. Round. No, uh, no, nothing like that. Uh, just 
Missing is all. What now? Gone. Totally gone. Well, where'd it go? I mean, silver lining here. Maybe it was reunited with its one true master. Again, I say, what now? I mean, you know, the master of the orb from the prophecy, the only person capable of wielding the power of the orb would take it and nurture it, be its one true orb master. Uh, who the trunk told you that? Hey, don't look at me, Tree. And please, don't look at me. Let's just forget it. Oh, maybe it was a poltergeist. If you're only partly magic, you'd be more susceptible to hauntings. <laughs> no, that isn't it. I'm not being haunted. I deserve to be here. I deserve magic and power and success and more than just a can of tuna. Oh. God. Okay, that's it. I'm done with this trash. You need to take me home right now. Okay, uh, you got anything you want to plug? Always. Uh, you can find me on YouTube, Instagram, at Brandon Borden. Of course, because I'm old enough, I'm always on Facebook. Get me out of here. You got it. Bounce! I hope you guys pull through, and I hope you guys get over your disabilities and your, what do we call deformities? Some sort of a, a downside you guys have. You're not normal like the rest of us. But you guys got your special school and you got your special friends and I hope I hope all of you feel you know like like you're one of us for society.